Okay, the can here with another question in topic 1.2, Uncertainties and Errors. We're looking at uh, best fit math in this question. Uh, we have a data analysis question where uh, we're filling a container with liquid. The liquid pours in, fills up the container. Uh, the container is filled uh, from the base. Uh, it's initially empty, and it's filled at a constant rate. Uh, the height of the liquid surface above the ground, that would be that value there, uh, is measured over time, and the results are shown here. So as time goes on, we see the uh, height of the liquid increasing as the container fills. We see data points marked with X's and error bars marked with these lines. And remember that these error bars represent uh, the random error of that measurement. So the measurement tells us that the height at this time was uh, this value here, looks like a 7.3. But there's an uncertainty associated with that measurement. Maybe it's come from the tool, maybe it's come from the way that we've used the tool to measure the height. Who knows? It's not in the context of this question. But what we do know is that while we think that the height was 7.3 meters, our analysis of the uncertainty tells us that it could have actually been as high as 7.5 meters or as low as uh, 7.1 meters. So it's a range around that point that represents our, uh, uh, our uncertainty of the measurement that we took. Uh, so in this question, all we want to do is draw a best fit line for this data, some way of, of analyzing the trend of this data. And the reason that I chose this question is because we often think of best fit lines as straight lines, and they often are in the context of this course. But they don't have to be. There's no reason they have to be. What they have to be is a smooth, continuous trend that fits the data. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to play join the dots. Uh, what we also don't want to do is we don't want to force uh, a straight line when it doesn't apply. If we look at a, a straight line fit of this data, we see a couple of things that, that are, are uh, problematic right away. We see that there are plenty of data points that couldn't even possibly be on the line, even in the worst case of their uncertainty. So even the lowest part of the uncertainty isn't on the line, even the highest part of the uncertainty isn't on the line. Other troubling things we see about this trend is that there's a, a pattern of error around the, the line. We see that uh, everything starts below, rises above, drops below again. That also indicates a poor fit when there's a pattern. We, we want a random walk around the line, so, so lots of randomness on the line. No, no trend over it. The last thing we see that's problematic is that uh, we would expect that the height of the, the liquid above the ground would be H0 at time 0. Uh, but what we see is that this trend is telling us uh, something else that's quite high. Uh, so, if we want to uh, draw the trend for this data, the, uh, what we want to do is, is draw a smooth curve. Uh, and what that's going to look like is something like this. Uh, take your hand, put it on the table, uh, lock your fingers in place, and move either your elbow or your wrist, uh, but not your fingers. And draw a smooth, as smooth as you can, line that goes through all the error bars is, is critically important, but close to the data points as well. You'll notice that it's not quite on this one, and that's okay, because it goes through the uh, error bars. Um, there's a little bit of wobbliness just from my computer pen. Um, if this were something I were drawing in pencil, I might erase this and, and try it again to try and get rid of some of this wobbliness, but I think that's probably the best I'm going to be able to do on my computer. Um, it sort of hooks around a little bit at the bottom here. That's that's no good. So let's grab our eraser and just tidy that up a little bit. Uh, now it's looking pretty good, uh, with the exception of the, the wobbles 